Hello children, afternoon, daytime, morning and night. This is the oldest piece of equipment I have here that's in constant use. It's an HF transmitter, tunable from 3 megs to 18 megs. It will do 160 with some capacitors stuck over various coils inside there. Very nice set, very versatile and quite old. This one was made in 1940. This is the configuration for aircraft use. The power supply in the middle, the low frequency unit over here, and this side is the HF unit, the one that we're having a look at now. There's the nameplate, says it all really. Navy Department, Bureau of Ships. Weight 90 pounds. 30th of December, 1940. We'll fire this up. It takes a little while to tune from one band to the other, but it's a bit of fun. To change bands on this you have to tune the master oscillator knob, then tune your buffers and then your drivers and the PA stage, so it takes a little time to do it. This was made before the 807s and those style of valves. This is an 837, a directly heated pentode. They seem quite reliable, I've never had to replace one. There's one in the VFO and one is the buffer driver about 12 watts plate dissipation. The VFO coils in there, there's like a variometer inside and when you turn the knob it adjusts things in there. Seems to be quite stable for its age. There's part of the doubling tripling circuits. There's the output stage. It's not an 813, it's an 803, an early version of an 813. Quite complicated tuning arrangements, probably to make it easier and less knobs to tune. There's the original 1940s wiring, still seems to work okay, hasn't burnt out yet. A few screen resistors and other dropping things there, bit of heat loss. There we have another view of the output valve. I've built this Death HT supply, mostly out of 1940s parts as well. It looks very safe. You can't throw PCBs away, so you might as well use them. Of course, these sets were CW only. So I've got an old Class B modulator here that I got from a garage sale from a deceased estate. It's got two 807s in triode connection. I think it's 1200 volts on the plate. Puts out about 200 watts. It's very good indeed. Most of the distortion in Class B is at low level. So if you keep the level up, it sounds fine. Well, actually it doesn't sound fine, but it sounds very penetrating and important travelling through the ether. Here we see the 803 and the 813 side by side. The 813 of course is a very popular valve. Everyone knows about the 813. Uh, it's been used for years. So I think they're still made. Um, that's the 813 there. The 803 obviously was a precursor to the 813. 
The 803 is a Pento, the 813 is a beam power tube. Much the same ratings. The sockets are different, but I think if you change the sockets, they would work in the same circuit with maybe minor changes. Uh, the 813 is very sensitive. I think the 803 is less sensitive, but basically it has much the same ratings as the 813. Okay, we'll fire this thing up. We've already got the heaters on. We'll put the low tension on, 400 volts for the uh, buffer and the VFO, and we'll see if that's working. Okay, I'll turn it on and see if it's working. Seems to be working okay. We'll zero in. Almost zero beat. Okay, now I'll try it with low power. A few watties there. Not many. It's pretty well tuned up on this frequency, I think. Not much more to do. Okay, we'll try. Okay, we'll try it on high power now. There we are. Hundred watt matics or thereabouts. Could have a little micro tune. So we'll see if we can tweak it up any. That makes a difference during a plate matic Okay, we'll tune up to 3670 now. We've got our little list of what to do and uh, we'll give a little tunies. Let's see, master oscillator, 4, 23.5, so I suppose it's down here. 23.5, 1, 2, 3, near enough for the moment. A is on 2. C is on 4. Now where's C? Oh, there's C down there. That's C on 4, so we we'll leave C on 4. D goes to 43. E goes to 1. Where's E? Oh, there's E. Put that on 1. F to 69. Let's see. G goes to 3.7. Out there, K to ninety five, that where it was, H to one, no difference there, I to ninety five, it's I ninety five, and the plate, okay, J to four over zero, four zero probably means about there. We'll turn it on and see if it comes up near 3670. Okay, I'll give this thing a final tune up on 3670. Final tune up, everything sort of interacts a little bit to each other. Dip the plate. That's about it, I think. Woo 
It doesn't take all that long, as long as you have the numbers written down. Okay, we'll turn the modulator on, put on a record, and see how it sounds. Station BLQ2. Station BLQ2, V for victory, L for liberty, Q for quality. V for victory, Q for quality. L for liberty, V for victory, Q for quality. VLQ2, VLQ2, V for victory, Q for quality. Australia calling. Australia calling the world. Australia calling. Australia calling the world. Station BLQ2. Station BLQ2. V for victory, L for liberty, Q for quality. 